Hello. We want to talk about how are you doing. <laughs> are you doing okay? Are you doing all right? Are you looking good? Am I handsome? <laughs> okay. What <laughs> What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Okay. The topic. Uh, kind of relevant today is、uh, if I ask you a question, can I ask you a question? Is my course interesting? You say yes, yes, yes. That's true. Oh no, no, no. It's terrible. <laughs> it's it's no,、uh, not fun. Okay. I'm asking about a fact, and the answer could be different, right? Could be truth or false. Could be true or false. Okay, if you are using this kind of variable,、uh, kind of compare something or to decide the true or false to make your your program to branch, that's a conditional, right? And so this is a topic we we want to talk about. Okay, so condition, conditional. Okay,、uh, and、um, mostly uh, <laughs> uh, you encounter we call it if condition, if condition. Okay, and you will kind of check a boolean value. Okay, which could be a very complex. Uh, kind of logical operation, some single, some combine with other comparison. But anyhow, this is a value, a particular value we call、uh, boolean. Okay, if you are the first time listen、uh, hear about this, don't.、Uh, they just very simply,、uh, they have a two state,、uh, two kind. One is true. One is false, okay. Okay, one is true, t, okay, or true. One is false, means not true. <laughs> not true, okay. Is is false. So kind of、uh, opposite, opposite side of the true, okay. So if you is a false, false, that's become the true, okay. Okay, so、uh, and why this is important? Uh, uh, if your code、uh, check this value, check this、uh, boolean condition is true,、uh, normally we will we will have this. Okay, if it's a true, you will, who, you will.、Uh, Do the this part, okay? The true part, <laughs> part. Okay. If it's not true,、uh, which also means、uh, it's false, you will do this part. Of course, this part I use a part to generalize it. It could be、uh, a lot of instruction inside it, a lot of a lot of instruction inside the false part. But basically,、uh, they are two different area. Okay,、uh, so when your program running、uh, from here,、uh, they will check if it is condition. If it's false, they just jump jump to it. They won't execute this part. Okay, this part won't be executed. But how do I know、uh, which which one will be executed exactly? They determine this condition wrong time, and sometimes true, sometimes false. Yeah, let's make the program、uh, kind of、uh, 
dynamic decide something, right? That's that's what why program can have a kind of intelligence, okay. And uh, so we normally uh, write uh, about this. Use this kind of shape to say, oh, this is a condition. For example, if x greater than three, if it's a yes or true, <laughs> they will do this. Okay, they will do this. Okay, true part. Okay, or no or false. Okay. Mm. No, or fourth. F A L S E. Sorry, F A L S E. Fourth. They will do this part. Okay, fourth part. Oh, this one is true part. True part. Okay, and uh, both of them. Uh, will eventually kind of merge somewhere, okay, and it will continue to run, okay. This is uh, uh, the part of uh, uh, when they run uh, the separate different part, uh, either of them finished, they will kind of uh, continue to run the next instruction. So uh, you got to be careful uh, how your programming language define this building block. Okay, some may use a uh, parenthesis. Okay, some may use uh, uh, maybe begin and. Okay, some may use a uh, <laughs> index inten intention. <laughs> Am I pronouncing correct? Indent. Okay. So what is indentation? E N D E N T. Okay. It is actually you type a tape. Tape. Okay. When we computer type tape, our our uh, space will kind of increase a certain amount, right? And then kind of doing the vertical alignment. Horizontal alignment, excuse me, we call it indentation. Kind of uh, the, the next part of the code will kind of uh, uh, move at the same beginning space. We call it indentation. So that's a learning point. But after you have the, this basic concept, you know that the booling uh, is, is a dis dis decisive uh, point. Okay. Um, but the booling uh, this is quite interesting, right? Uh, Why well, it's interesting? We can we can do this. For example, if x greater than three, and and uh, x minus uh, less than fifteen. Okay. Yeah. You want to check this too and when both happen right and sometimes <laughs> you of course you can check two condition why why uh, maybe y equal one equal okay you can use this and then you can kind of combine uh, and and o okay so what is n o means yeah it's quite uh, straightforward, right? M means that both condition is true. They, the result will true. And O means uh, either of it's true. The, the result is true. Okay. Kind of different than English, right? But uh, N O in Boolean, uh, Boolean operator, uh, they quite a straightforward. Okay. And maybe when you study along the journey, uh, you will find some uh, information. They say, okay, uh, let's talk about uh, truth table. A, B, C, 
if it's a true, uh, A and B uh, sees a result. Uh, if it's an N function, uh, they will write things like this. Means uh, A do do the N operator, and uh, what's the result? So we know the N uh, only two operand is true. You will get true. Okay, I use a one as a true here. Okay, and zero zero as a false. Okay, this is uh, the boolean truth table for N. Okay. And if it's a um, or, if it's a or, uh, let me write down. I use a different color. If I'm talking about O operator, the result, for example, I put it here D. Sorry, I'm running out of space. Bear with me, okay, very quickly. Anything is, if either of its one is true, uh, it will be true. Okay, the only both is false. Uh -huh. The result is false. Okay, so this is the end the result. This is a or result. Okay, and the end all they need a uh, two operand. Okay, if it's a not, not uh, there's another operator we call not. Okay, not. Okay, it's a unary, and they only need that one operate operand. Okay, for example, if you ask not a, just invert it, just kind of opposite of a. If a condition is, is one, not a is zero. If it's a zero, not a is one. Okay, so this is what the not for, right? <laughs> it's quite obvious. Uh, so if condition is one of the most important in the computer programming language and something else you need to be aware of okay to use it correctly okay and uh, sometimes your bug is not a syntax error because you syntax error uh, interpreter will tell you what the what the error is, but sometimes the error comes from how you think about your boolean, okay? How you kind of make the judge and the, how you how you predict this, okay? So uh, if you got a result, your program the result is not what you expected. Uh, this is a logical error, right? Semantic error, okay? You didn't control the uh, the calculation inside your mind properly, so that uh, the program won't uh, do what you want it to do. Boolean also uh, important when we do repeating, because uh, repeating if if it's uh, always repeating, it's infinite. It's a infinite loop, right? Never ending. That would be terrible, right? So boolean value will be also used to the uh, end kind of stop checking. You know, if this condition is is true, you won't repeat. Okay, will be used in the for loop and the while loop. Okay, quite important. So this boolean concept is essential, extremely important. Okay. Beware, uh, be sure, and be prepared. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Am I looking good? Am I look handsome? <laughs> looking handsome? I hope it's true. <laughs>